The state of Florida made major improvements to the law along with improving voter equipment after that huge controversy back in 2000's presidential election recount. ABC Action News reporter Carson Chambers live in Tampa with what we do differently now. Carson. Right in the 2000 debacle absolutely tarnished Florida's reputation, but prompted a whole lot of change for the better to make sure every vote counts. People go back and they think it's only Florida that can't count right. Yes, yes, yes. They do not understand election law. Florida may never live down its 2000 recount reputation, but it's made some marked changes to ensure a similar debacle is not repeated, including provisional ballots. If you think you're registered and you go to a voting place and they don't have your name on the list, it's not like you turned away. You actually can vote there and then they'll check it later. Political expert Susan McManus says it's unrealistic to think with 13 plus million voters, all votes could be counted by election night. Florida's also nixed butterfly ballots after hanging chats cause problems. Optical scan ballots, which is what we use now, allow for a paper trail. And there are also clear rules for a statewide recount that weren't in place nearly 20 years ago. In the 2000 election, the recounts only occurred in four counties, and that was part of the problem. It wasn't standardized across the state. Florida law fixed it. And now recounts are standardized across all 67 Florida counties. We're live in Tampa. I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.